Yo, what's going on y'all? It's our pod King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. And I'm back with another episode. We're about to get into a mission. I gotta go to the big T. But first order of business, I wanna buy this property. So uh my weekly income will be seven thousand one hundred dollars. Um looks like it needs to be purchased. So um I provide drinks to the people of San Andreas, okay. Alright. So I'm out seven hundred and fifty thousand. Just kicked him out the Land Rover, Range Rover, whatever you wanna, you know, call it. But uh, let's see. All right, I got the Wayport popping. It's about a mile and some change away. I'm on my way there. Oh, you know what? Let me try this. Uh, I'm not totally sure, but I think. Because Franklin brought the taxi cab place. I want to know if I can put some stock in it too. If I can purchase it too. Yeah, I don't want to be in the middle of traffic. Alright. Now I am on to the next one. On to the next one. Alright, so now I'm not totally sure how this works, but since since the homie Franklin purchased this property, he's able to get taxi cabs free. Like no charge. So I wanna know am I able to do that too? So let me check here. Okay, yeah, it doesn't have no property sign, so I'm guessing he's the only person that can catch cabs for free. Which totally sucks. But I guess it is what it is. I ain't tripping. I'm saying everybody gotta eat, right? But I should have brought I should have brought that joint for for Franklin though. <laughs> Been real cheesy about it. Alright, where am I going? What's going on here? Hey, Matt, stealing my bike again! Not again! You've got to be kidding me! Hey, where the hell are you going with my bike? You know what? Uh, did I get him? That dude's fast. Man, he's gone, man. Ah, almost had him. Well, that's over. Sorry, buddy. That's how terrible of a shooter I am. <laughs> I thought I had him though. I thought I had him in my crosshairs, but hey, it is what it is. Last time I did that, I think I got a thousand dollars for uh, Trevor, because Trevor helped the dude with his bike. Ouch! Ooh. So sorry. I gotta leave the area before the cops get up on me. Uh oh, somebody's about to die. Ooh, I got through that. I was about to skin my teeth. Alright, so Trevor took over the strip club. I know the homie Franklin's sick about that, but it is what it is. Let me conceal that, my bad. No disrespect. Damn, the bouncer not even here no more. Is they still stripping in this, John? Yeah, they still stripping in here, though. I don't know if he's gay or not. I don't even know what monkey it is. Oh, Floyd. 
Hey, Floyd. Floyd over here getting that good treatment. What would really turn me off is you wear a clown face. Struggling pain, struggling pain. Evil saints in my brain. All right, hold on. Let me see if I can go through here or if I have to beat this bouncer ball to fuck up. All right, everything good. I ain't had to whip his ass. And they got changing rooms and shit. Damn, I'm mad I can't run. Like, what the fuck? Hey, before you ask, the fridge is broken. That's all right. I've had enough of your hospitality already. I have changed my ways, all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm done with that crazy shit, all right? I want to square things away with Merriweather, make sure the agency ain't coming back after us, and then do one last big score, and then you get to go back with your family. Me, I'm just going to live here. I'm going to run this, this good business showing people a good time. B bust Brad out of prison, and then, you know, happy. <laughs> so how'd you come by this place anyway? Had it for ages. So you must know Leon, the old manager. Leon? I didn't know. Yeah, whatever, man. So what's going on here? What's going on is the big one. A long, long time ago, in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. Uh, yeah. Sure, Brad was there sometimes as well. I mean, there were other guys, though, too. So, uh... Anyway, we uh, robbed and lied and we hurt people. Pretty much lived a low-life kind of existence. But always dreaming of one thing and one thing only. The big one. The big one. The, the big, big one. one! What is the big one? <laughs> the Union Depository. Around 200 million in gold bricks, all taken from kindly Uncle Sam, who will spend the rest of our lives being hunted by government officials if we live through the attempt. But... But! It'll be my, uh, our masterpiece. So, gentlemen, let's do our civic duty and get out there and find some gainful employment. This way. Let's go. Big one. All right, so let's see what this is all about. Riding in that all black thing. Come in, you there? All right, we're on a strict schedule. Okay. There's a couple of armored cars on a dry run to the depository. Intel suggests they'll be going down Innocence Boulevard in East LS at approximately 1530. And Trevor and I need to map their route for a possible hijack point. So we're going to his airfield in Blaine County and coming back in his chopper to intercept. Michael Franklin, all you gotta do is take the temperature at the bank, see if there's anything that stands out. Okay. Hey, we, uh, taking the temperature? Yeah, you know, getting a feel for it. Security, exit routes, general vibe. Remember, all right. Always that doesn't look like much. Man, security looks light. We send in a couple of sprung niggas, clap, clap. What are you talking about, Frank? Oh, I see it. Man, getting in the door is easy. It's a standard bank. It's getting underground as hard. Ain't that where the metal's kept? Right. Now we gotta stop outside the Arcadia Center down on Alta Street. We can get a view of the back from there. All right. Let's ride up over here. Hey, man, you might not notice it, but I picked up a few things rolling with you. I mean, there's times I think I gotta be the senior partner in the group. From the way you and Trevor behave. Ah, sorry. <laughs> There's history there. Yeah, it still ain't fully been explained to me, though. No? Well, remind me to go over with you again sometime. But not now. All right. <laughs> he young boy, and I'm putting him in his place real quick. Look, dog, Light again, man. Yeah, fucking eerie, ain't it? Man, you think they put more than one motherfucker on our national fucking reserves? Yeah, huh? Well, maybe we really are broke. Trevor. How are you doing? This nigga taking a piss. Well, uh, uh, I like clockwork, Mikey. I like clockwork. Where in the hell are we at? You mentioned a uh, job before. Something I could help you with? I ain't even talked to Mike about it yet, but he's going to be on board. He's obligated. What is it? Ain't it obvious? 
busting Brad out of the clink. Why don't you talk to Michael about it? Oh, fine. Shit. I was gonna pay you, man, when there ain't an obvious profit in something. You're a hard guy to motivate. That's true. It's facts, dog. Money not involved while we talking. That's what I've been saying the whole time in this whole game. If we ain't talking about money, what we talking about? Like, doing all these missions. <laughs> not seeing no plus signs on my bank statement, baby. I am. My pocket's light right now. I got about, matter of fact, let me see how much money I got on me right now, nigga. Nigga, I got 321000 nigga. And I got to get the 600000 if I want to buy, uh, what's it, Rockies or Roochies or Hooters or it's some little drink. Just went 1330. We got two hours before we need to be in Murrieta Heights. Okay. Do they call it a wasting disease because you waste people's time? Move it! Just an aircraft. Mike's observations fit with your scheme. So far, yeah. The security's internal rather than external. It's quiet enough that any disturbance is going to get picked up immediately. What those two don't know is there's a special team of cops on standby 24-7. Damn, is this a prison? Get too close to the prison. We'll trip an alarm. Good boy. Don't want him jumpy for the breakout. Ah, yeah. Waiting on a signal from the UD. Won't go out on any other call. And it's never been hit. Man, those guys must get bored. They may be cops, but they work for the government. There's nothing government workers love more than to accept tax dollars for doing nothing. Oh, yeah, that and spying on innocent people. <laughs> mm, getting paid to do nothing and spying on innocent people. Now, who does that remind me of? Anyway, if we want to hit the vault in a way that people will notice, the key will be to divert the security team. Divert it? You said they hold out for calls from the UD and that's it. They do, so we'd have to hit it twice. Once to distract them and once to get it done. You're gonna find someone willing to get caught hitting a super bank just as a distraction. I was thinking, Michael, it might appeal to his ego. Oh, what am I saying? We got the perfect guy for it. All right, now that they're done talking, now I can get a little time to shine on this commentary. Well, basically, this is one of the biggest scores of the game, most likely the way that they're talking about it. They talking about millions, because I ain't seen a mill yet. <laughs> Only reason Michael had a mill is because he had 600000 and he got 400000 from that, uh, that last job. So, shoot. Other than that, everybody else's pockets is mad, like... We have a visual on the convoy! Okay. Keep with them, T. Do whatever Les needs you to do. We need to stay with them and find a place to ambush. What kind of ambush spot are we looking for? I tend to wait in the jaw and catch them with their drawers down, but I guess that won't work here. No, it, uh, won't. We're looking for somewhere with cover for us and no escape routes for them. Ah, the same principle as a men's room. Yeah, uh, I guess. <laughs> Alright, it's good that I was able to switch to Lester and not have to drive this uh, aircraft. We were pretty cool about that. And also, it says that we got a half an hour left until something is supposed to go down. But uh, we just checking out the convoy right now. Making sure we know their routes. Where? Under one of the bridges. It's en route and we'll have plenty of cover. It's too open. There's a number of get outs and we'd be compromised if they were driven off the road into the river. We could recover the cars. With the right equipment, we'd haul them up the side. Yo, that's not that's not my fault, dog. Come on. Like, how is that my fault? I switched to the camera. I thought I thought he was controlling it. Like, come on. I'd be 100% with me. Like, if I have to start all the way over from, the from like, the ranch, like, I'm going to be pissed. Come in, Michael. We have a visual on the convoy. Keep with them, T. Do whatever Les needs you to do. What the fuck? Finding an ambush point. Stay with them. 
Yo, my shit about to go down, dog. What kind of ambush spot are we looking for? I tend to wait in the jaw and catch them with their drawers down, but I guess that won't work here. No, it, uh, won't. We're looking for somewhere with cover for us and no escape routes for them. Ah, the same principle as a men's room. Yeah, uh, I guess. <laughs> Yo, I'm surprised this joint ain't go down yet. It sounds like it's about to go down. What about here for the job? Where? Under one of the bridges. It's en route and we'll have plenty of cover. It's too open. There's a number of get outs and we'd be compromised if they were driven off the road into the river. We could recover the cars. With the right equipment, we'd haul them up the side. A central station is monitoring the car's positions. If the GPS tracker reads it's down there in the channel, we'll have red flags all over the place. Fine! Where am I going? What you thinking? I'm thinking I don't like being in close proximity to you for extended periods of time. And the same for short periods of time. Oh, there's ways to make minutes go by. Hmm. Yo, I don't even know where the hell they at right now. Almost went down. <laughs> it's crazy. Hey, I was expecting you 30 seconds ago. Wow. To the traffic. <laughs> All right. All right. So they also have a time limit. Now, if I remember from planning the tool store job, you're excavating the new LS Metro tunnel around here. It take us around the building and find the construction site. Roger that! Looking for a big asshole! nothing about Lester <laughs> but Trevor died all right hopefully the plane is at a hundred percent now if I remember from planning the tool store job you're excavating the new LS Metro tunnel around here it take us around the building and find the construction site Roger that looking for a big asshole there's your big asshole Hover above it while I record what we need. I need to be above, shooting down into it. Okay, motherfucker. Now just hover here. Look steady enough on that bedrock. Hold it. Okay. That's no good. It's load bearing. If 
feels like they've been digging this tunnel forever. All right, I think I've got enough information to work with. Okay. All right. Please switch me to Michael. Thank the Lord. Get me out of that aircraft. I just can't take it, man. Yeah, I'd rather take Franklin to the crinid. <laughs> Y'all killing me. Hey, so how you feeling about this? I'm feeling pretty good. We got Lester planning it. He'll get us options. There's you, a guy I know I can depend on. And then there's Trevor. Ah, yeah, Trevor will get it done. And Willie? I hope so, man. I hope he holds it together. Hey, you ain't done too good of a job at that yourself, you feel me? Yeah, well, I ain't pissed off hillbillies, bikers, a Mexican gang, some Chinese gangsters, and a private army, okay? So there's that. Yeah, but you just pissed off the FIB and the IAA and your family, man. You know what? I met Amanda, and I know who scares me the most. <laughs> Point taken. So you gonna tell me about this Brad dude and the deal with the FIB? What happened in North Yankton back in the day anyway? This ain't the time. Man, we're about to go in together on the biggest job ever being pulled. There ain't ever gonna be a better time to fill me in on this shit. It's complicated, all right? Fuck it, I'ma ask Trevor. Don't ask Trevor. Shit, man, you sound shady, dawg. Real shady. We'll talk, all right? Just later. Hey, yo, he really keeping Franklin in the dark, man. Like, that ain't cool, brother. It ain't cool at all. All right, holla at me. Hey, when he's got something, Lester will be in touch. Yeah, all right. Nigga, do y'all see the money symbol on my motherfucking tires, nigga? Nigga, I'm rolling in the money. Okay. I didn't get anything done, so fuck all that. But uh, this is IKC signing out, y'all. I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Peace. This is Siri. Thank you for watching and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode, click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC, click subscribe. Oh, and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.